All right, I've got an update for you where I'm taking those shelves to something like that built in. First, I remove them. Here's a little recap for you. And stay tuned at the end because I'll show you the problem I've run into. I built and installed the bottom cabinet and then I built and installed the top cabinet. I needed my husband's help with that top one. That thing was tall and heavy and it was a tight fit at the top. But we got that screwed into place on the studs on the sides and then I got to work putting on the shelves, built the face frame, and the last we left off, my stain had hardened. And there's only one place in my area that sells that. So while my husband was picking that up for me, I got to work on the doors. Those top pieces are gonna be arches. And I was a little nervous here to cut it all out, but I got to work and did it. I also made the drawer fronts. This is all built out of oak, the face frame is. I routed the edges of the drawer fronts because I wanted them to be fancy and not just look like a piece of wood slapped on there. Here's a test fit with the doors. I got the arches cut out and then I put them together with pocket holes. This was a challenge so I was super excited that they were looking really good at this point. Had to do a little victory dance. Then I took the doors back outside and routed the insides because I'm fitting them for glass. Then I got to work cutting down some more plywood for the drawers. Here I'm using half inch plywood. I've used three quarter inch plywood before for drawers and I felt like they were just way too bulky. So the half inch is perfect. I'm just putting them together here with wood glue and brad nails. And then in my head, I was totally gonna get inside this cabinet to install the drawer slides, but that didn't work. Apparently I'm a little bit too big. So I installed them the hard way, which is just trying to fit most of my body in there. These are really long. I built the drawers, praying they fit. And they did perfectly. I was so excited until I got to the second drawer and I couldn't get the drawer slides to go in all the way for some reason. I examined it, crawled underneath it to see what was wrong. And from some Google research, the drawer slides were bent because they were shipped like this sticking out of the edge. So that was annoying. I tried to fix the drawer slides and ended up breaking one of them. So I moved on to the doors after I got them stained and then I got to work putting on the drawer fronts. I mean, this is how you put on your drawer fronts, right? Using your feet to hold them in place. <laughs> Gotta use whatever works. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I did measure, but mostly eyeballing. This is the exciting part because it all starts coming together really nice and pretty. And just a reminder from the last video, this is where we left off and this is where we are now. Look how gorgeous this is. It looks like a piece of furniture. I even found these really cool hinges on Amazon that were a little bit fancier than I've seen before. So I put those on and then I put these really pretty cabinet pulls on. And then for the part that I am running into a problem with, you see how that door is lined up at the bottom and then look at the top. The left one is warped, so I'm gonna have to rebuild it. 